Unbound Spirit, a reflection for Easter Sunday. Beginning today and continuing throughout the Easter season, the first reading breaks from the usual pattern, coming from the Acts of the Apostles rather than from the Hebrew Scriptures. These exciting accounts take us inside the early Christian community, comprised of those who encountered Jesus and became his followers during his earthly life, and others who encounter him through their witness and that of the Holy Spirit. This gets a bit confusing, since these episodes in Acts happen after the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Gospel readings in the season of Easter spend seven weeks catching up, recounting the resurrection appearances of Jesus and the slow dawn of Easter faith experienced by his disciples. In today's passage, we hear Peter deliver the kerygma, the essential proclamation of the gospel, to a crowd of Gentiles gathered at the home of Cornelius, identified by the Luke-Acts evangelist as a Roman centurion and God-fearer. This designation applied to Gentiles attracted to Judaism, who attended the synagogue and accepted many of its beliefs and ethical practices. Acts 10.3 calls Cornelius devout, citing his generosity in giving alms and his constancy in prayer. The text also indicates that his household follows him in his God-fearing devotion, as well as one or more of his soldiers. It takes two separate visions, one for Cornelius and another for Peter, and one human messenger dispatched from Cornelius to Peter to bridge the religious and cultural gap between these two leaders and bring them into dialogue. Cornelius tells of the vision that motivated him to send for Peter and then opens the door to Peter's message with these words. Now, therefore, we are all here in the presence of God to listen to all you have been commanded by the Lord. Today's passage follows. Peter summarizes Jesus' ministry of good works and healing, bears witness to his passion, death, and resurrection, and exhorts all to believe and receive forgiveness through his name. Today's passage ends but the story goes on to a startling conclusion. Even before Peter finishes his preaching, the Holy Spirit gives witness, falling on the Gentile listeners and turning the tide of baptism toward these surprising new candidates. Peter's response, found in Acts 10, 47, states the obvious can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? With this outpouring, the Spirit of Jesus breaks down the accepted boundaries of holiness and invites outsiders into community, continuing the pattern that Jesus himself established during his earthly ministry. As might be expected, insiders balk, and Peter must explain all that led up to his decision. His final question, found in Acts eleven seventeen, silences the critics. If God gave them the same gift he gave us, when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? 
for the full saga, read Acts 10, 1 to 11, 18. Verses from Psalm 118 respond to this surprise of the Holy Spirit. First, with thanks for God's goodness and enduring mercy. Then, with a recitation of God's powerful action, bringing new life from death for the Son, Jesus Christ, and through him for humanity. And finally, with a reminder that the cornerstone, Christ, was first rejected, then vindicated and established by the Lord God as the foundation of our restored relationship with God. This represents the ultimate breaking down of barriers between God and people. Echoing the psalmist, let us rejoice and be glad.